that spread. So here's just the one back leg. Got some rabbit gravy on there. Got those onions and, and garlic. A nice little salad. So as you can see, these things are just massive. Uh, I'm gonna cook them up in a recipe. It's a, a South Southern fried uh, rabbit. So a uh, very easy recipe, very delicious recipe. Probably not the healthiest way to eat rabbit, but uh, we'll walk you guys through this and show you guys what I do. So I got the cast iron pan here. Um, heating up, got some nice uh, virgin olive oil in there. So she's nice and hot. Got the rabbit legs right here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add, uh, this is basically a, a cornmeal mix with flour, some salt and pepper, all that kind of stuff. It's a local guy named Norm that makes these. Uh, I'll put his information down in the description. Um, but you know what, any kind of uh, battering or anything like that you're gonna use on chicken, you can use on this. This also works really well on fish. Coat it all nicely here. And basically, I'm just going to put it in the hot oil. And all I want to do is I'm going to brown that. So I can only put three in, in at a time uh, to brown them, but that's not a big deal because after that, we're going to put it on a bed of of onion and garlic, so we brown these up nicely. You can see um, browning browning it up nicely there. So once they're browned up, we put them off to the side for a second. All right, just pulling these out for a sec. I'm actually gonna turn the temperature down um, about halfway between. So on my uh, dial, I go from min to max, and it goes from one to 10. I'm putting it to about two. Uh, you wanna start cooling that right down. Now I'm gonna put, I so I, I previously cut some onions. I basically just cut them in rounds like this, and I'm just gonna line the whole bottom of the pan with these slices of onions. Okay. Then I also have uh, some garlic, so I'm also going to line the bottom of the pan with this garlic. Alright. Like that. Now we take our rabbit, we set it up right on top of this, uh, on these slices of onion. Ooh, she's a little slippery. Uh, and now, we want to cook it nice and low and light and slow. Um, these ones are already pretty tender, so it probably won't take it that long, but I'm thinking a good uh, 45 minutes in there. So I'm thinking, yeah, it's going to probably be in there for a good 45 minutes. Uh, so just throw the lid on here. We'll come back in uh, 45 minutes and we'll see what they look like. Now one thing I want to mention, one of the reasons I do put it on uh, the bed of onions, uh, two reasons. One, just to keep it out of the oil so it doesn't get all oily. Uh, two, it's also going to give it a lot more flavor and it keeps it pretty moist. So, so I've done it this way before and it, it's amazing. So yeah, so we'll get back to it in about 45 minutes and see where it's at. Alright guys, it's been 45 minutes. Gonna have a look at these. Oh, it looks pretty darn good. It smells good. So, if you guys are curious of what kind of internal temperature you're looking for, yeah, let's uh, turn the light on this thing. There we go. So you're looking for about a 165 uh, internal temperature. That's when you know that it's fully cooked and safe. So these are sitting at 170. So we're good. Uh, the other thing you kind of want to look at is how tender it is. Uh, you can only leave it in just a little bit longer. If it's not tender enough, it's still tough. So, this this feels pretty tough, so. I'm gonna leave it in there. Probably another 15, 20 minutes.
been long enough now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these out. Uh, what I want to do is I want to crisp them up some more. Since now they're, they are a little moist from uh, slow cooking and all that moist air. Perfect. And then now the onions. I'm just going to put these off to the side because those are delicious. So, those off to the side. Obviously grabbing some of that tasty garlic too. So basically, what I'm going to do Perfect, okay. So before I put this back in here, we're actually gonna make a little gravy. So put the temperature up, uh, put some flour in here, and basically you just wanna stir it, you're truly trying to thicken it up. And then we're gonna put just a little bit of milk in here. If it thins up a little bit too much, you can always put uh, more flour. It really also depends on the consistency of the gravy that you want. If you want it nice and thin, water it down a little bit more. Um, if you want it nice and thick and flavorful like I do. Then. Wow. I'll try to show you guys this. This is wicked. So, I'm going to put that in a separate container. I'm going to bring that temperature up again because um, I want to refry it. Still grab it, legs. gravy in there that's okay okay I'm gonna put these onions off to the side so I can bring up this temperature again but just throw in a little bit of butter I'm actually gonna hit it with another round of that norms before I put it in a nice tasty crust layer Now they're not going to be in here very long because they're all, all I'm trying to do is crisp, crisp them up a bit. There we go, just pull them off now. Sweet. Let them rest for a good five minutes. And uh, while they rest, I'm just going to make up a salad and I'll show you guys a spread when it's all together. There she is, guys. Look at that spread. So here's just the one back leg. Got some rabbit gravy on there. Got those onions and, and garlic. And a nice little salad. So thanks for joining me on that one, guys. That was really fun. Like I said, this is such a tasty, tasty meal. You guys really got to try it out. Um, I did build a little rabbit trap. So hopefully we'll have uh, a bunch of different recipes. I still want to make a stew. And I would like to make some rabbit breakfast sausages as well. So, if you're liking this content, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe down at the bottom, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.